Hello, friends. Doing it a little bit different today on this Dallas Card Show Eve, if you will. I'm about to watch the Warriors Lakers play. I'm excited about it. Um, and to be honest, I haven't been excited to watch a basketball game in a while, an NBA basketball game. It's been kind of like blah, blah, blah. When did the playoffs start? All the stars are sitting out. What's the deal? So, um, Excited to actually watch a game of significance. We've got the playoffs starting here this weekend. Um, this, the phone is going to be a little shaky because I'm just holding it with my hands. This is kind of like the Blair Witch Project style. So get used to that as we get to the show. Um, and I thought I would just kind of sit down kind of as I'm gathering my thoughts, share some of these deep thoughts with you. And now, Deep Thoughts by Jack Henry. The wise man can pick up a grain of sand and envision a whole universe, but the stupid man will just lay down on some seaweed and roll around until he's completely draped in it. Then he'll stand up and go, hey, I'm Vine Man. As to what's going through my head the night before I head out to this big show, I haven't been to a card show this big probably since uh, Panama City Mall in 1989 when they used to set up a thousand tables inside the mall. Um, so it's been a minute. It has been a while since I've been to a show that, that is this big and planning on going to the National here in a couple of months if it still happens. So I'm going to be spoiled with a couple of big shows here back to back. But um, yeah, I just thought I would kind of talk through where my head is um, and we'll go from there. I mean, I'm you know, there's just a lot. I mean, you know, Brad, the comeback card investor is going to be there and there's always kind of the concern of like, I'm going to have to hang out with him for three days. You know, I mean, think of all the dumb things he's going to say in that period of time. You know, it's like, I just don't know if I can handle it. And how am I going to be able to get breaks, you know, proper breaks where it's like, hey, man, you know, can I just go back to I'm going to go back to my hotel room and just be alone for six hours. Um you know, so that that sort of awkwardness, you know, how am I going to break that to him? Um, looking forward to meeting Flipping Steve in person. That's someone I don't mind hanging out with for a long period. Uh, that dude is is awesome. Uh, so looking forward to seeing Steve out there. Boris, looking forward to meeting Boris as well, even though he's a Bucks fan. Everybody that's going there is, so including the, the camera guy, the local guy I'm going with here, one of my buddies here locally, he's going to come and be cameraman. He's also a Bucks fan. So I'm going to be hanging around with Brad, Boris, and Brian, the three Bs who are all Bucks fans. Joy, joy, joy. Um, oh, and if, for those that are brand new here, if this is the first time you're ever watching a video of mine, I'm a diehard Saints fan, and I normally do videos a little bit differently. This is my attempt at a pre-show vlog video where I just let loose and, and vlog it. Um, so anyway, so there's that. Um, what am I going to be focused on at the show card wise? I think that's kind of an important one too. Cause it's like, I don't want to buy stuff that I can easily get on eBay. I want to find stuff that I don't see every day. Um, now, I mean, you can find stuff you don't see every day on eBay too. Like I was saying, I've been focused on national treasures, exquisite football. And so maybe I, I stay along those lines for, for a particular card. And I think that right now, I actually, I think that this weekend is going to be a good football card buying time. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. And I've been buying some football. I mean, I'm always buying football. Let's, let's be honest. I like football cards, but I do think that kind of that hot off season football card time, it has slowed a little bit over the last week. And I think with NBA playoffs starting up, my guess is, is that there's a huge focus on the games coming up this weekend. Basketball cards will be really interesting to watch. I'm almost wondering if I should be bringing some basketball cards with me to trade out of or to sell potentially or whatever, um, just with, with, you know, playoffs kind of going crazy. I don't know. I, I don't really want to bring any cards. I'm so paranoid. I don't want to bring a bunch of cards to the show. Um, I, I just don't. So we will see. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do there. Other thoughts, you know, is my cameraman going to, you know, I mean, he's my friend, but is he going to be selfish and want a lot of breaks? Cause I mean, look, let's, 
I'm just going to level with you guys. If people that watch my channel, you know that it's daily videos. I'm expecting, you know, 900 hours of content out of this. <laughs> All right, not really. Well, kind of. I'm, I'm sort of kidding, but I'm not. You know, Brian, if you're watching this, I'm going to need you to, to do your the best work you've ever done your whole life over the next three days. We have to be like the Truman Show, okay? I don't want to add any more pressure to this thing for you, but... We, we've got to get a lot of good good video, and you know we're gonna have to chop it up. Obviously, this is a business trip. This is a business trip. This is all about hanging out with friends, videoing all of it or, or a lot of it. Um, I I don't want to get very much of Brad in. I know he's gonna be selfish and be like, "Hey, let's do a video of this, that, and whatever with me in it." And it's like. How about no? How about we don't do that? So, you know, just little things I'm thinking about like that. He's probably going to try to take over and I'm not going to let it happen. But at the same time, um, you know, he's funny to laugh at. So I want to make sure if he falls down or, you know, I don't know, he's eating five burritos or something or he's having a bunch of like stuffing his face with cake, like, you know, cake and cards type deal. I want to make sure that we get that. So it's it's a tr it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one where we need to be around him, but we also need to not be. It's going to be difficult. If you guys have any suggestions, anything that you want to see, I did send a you know. If there's anything that you want to see in particular, um, let me know. I'm going to do my best. We're going to try to you know provide some entertainment for you guys, uh, but then also you know try to catch some deals on camera. Maybe I don't know if like Sasha T. Some of these guys are going to have booths set up there. I would like to try to buy a card from Sasha T. As I said before, I don't know if I can afford any of his stuff, but um, I want to try. Uh, I want to see Coleman there. I don't know if Coleman's going to have a table. I think he's going to actually be at the show. I don't know if he's setting up, though. But it'll be kind of cool to see all these people in person. It's weird. It's been like making digital friends that we're now meeting, um, you know, in person. So here goes nothing, guys. We are, uh, we're prepping. I wanted to share these deep thoughts with you as I sit here and just figure out, you know, my packing situation and what I'm going to do, you know, clothes-wise. And is it hot there? Is it cold at night? You know, all the all the things, you know, that are really stressful in life. <laughs> Guys, have an amazing Thursday. I will be on tonight. This video will drop. I'm, I'm, OK, so making this video Wednesday night. This video will drop Thursday morning. And then uh, Brad and I will be on, assuming flights make it in on time. I think I set it for like nine o'clock Dallas time or nine thirty Dallas time. I think it's central. So it's going to be a little bit later than usual, but um, just to kind of make sure we all get in on time and figure it all out. Anyway, guys, have an amazing Thursday, and I will talk to you later. Take care.